Hey, what's going on, y'all? Shang in the building yet? There he is. Hold on. Here we go. What's up, JF? Black paper. Comedian Shang. We doing it, y'all. Let me plug in my headphones. You know how we do. No, I left the window open. Damn it. He's a goofy motherfucker, man. He's goofy. Goofy. You're goofy. My bad, dog. Goofy. Nah, you're just goofy. God damn it, you goofy, goofy, goofy goober. That's your new name, goofy goober, goofy goober. What we do right here. That's yeah, y'all. Yeah. Welcome to the show, man. We are. Uh, it is what Tuesday, <laughs> October sixth, two thousand twenty. Is it Tuesday? Yeah, man. Uh, make sure is it? Yeah, that's already. It feels like it. I think that's where we're. <laughs> um. Miss Ever, look at her right there on time. AJ Fit 365 always showing up. We appreciate y'all. Lady Hazel May, I saw you. Pretty on the left and the right. Um, we are Savage AF. Uh, make Greetings, sure you everyone. At Comedian, at Comedian Shang right there. I'm going to start pinning some stuff. And make sure and, you uh, follow Mike, sure you follow at like Pedro. That's what it is. Let them let know what else they yeah. need to follow. Seba313, what up, though? Okay, now what y'all need to follow is us on the podcast version of the show on iTunes or Apple. Apple, iTunes or Apple, same shit. Uh, iTunes, Stitcher, Slacker, Google Play, iHeartRadio, Spotify. Spotify. I did a little bit weird. That's all good. Spotify. Um, latest, latest edges. <laughs> shut up, shut up, Miss Adverb. <laughs> shut up with your, with your, how you gonna have ashy, Eyelids. Shut up with your ashy yeah. eyelids. I saw a picture of you with Kane Blank. Right. She got ashy eyelids. Get the fuck out of here. Get the fuck out of here. You want these hands? Run these hands. Man. Um, no, and also you can subscribe. Subscribe. We're going to have a, a post down there. Subscribe to the YouTube channel. I'm typing it in now so I can see if you motherfuckers add. Uh, look, Savage AF um, Podcast. Yeah, okay, man. something weird came up. That's why I went, what the fuck? El Noop. Okay, Savage. El Noop. I see what up, boy. Podcast. SRNC, always welcome. El Noop in the building? Yeah, man. Pam Doris Box, we is see that, you too. Is that El Noop in the building? He is here. The Noops are in the building, y'all. Yo, yo. Um, like I said, it's Tuesday, October 6, 2020, man. We might as well uh, get off in the show. It's been some wild shit in one day. Yeah, man. Um, so the daily run-up uh, for today. Guys, and remember, we we thank you for following uh, us. Hey, man, thank you for guys for following us. It's, on it's, the, the daily run up is a crazy run running up. Running up today. Uh, we're gonna end the show. Uh, we we normally talk about money in terms of greenbacks, or at, at least that was an old phrase. But we're gonna talk about these bluebacks, as Goldman Sachs uh, predicts that a blue wave would be better for America's economy. Uh, but before we get into that, uh, we're gonna talk about next era. This is a a green wind and solar company that for a brief moment on Monday uh, overtook Exxon as the most valuable company um, in energy. Uh, so we're going to talk about that. Uh, before we get into that, though, a, a topic we didn't get to yesterday, Lords of Land. Yeah, yeah, we ran out of time yesterday, but we're we going to rock out today. And I wanted to say this particular topic is... Uh... Close to a lot of people's hearts, too. Yeah, man. But, uh, you know, a lot of ev evictions are about to hit, and uh, we're going to talk about that, what it means moving forward. Um, but before we talk about that, speaking of the, com uh, the economy, uh, we have a, no longer a commander-in-chief, but a hostage-taker-in-chief. Um, right. If you don't vote for me, uh, if you don't vote for me, I don't get my way. Yeah. That bitch shit. Oh, and I see JRNYC. See my wallet? Yeah. You see my wallet? No stimulus. Hostage taker in chief. Uh, Dumpty, Trumpy Dumpty, that is, is, is called off his, his staff, essentially Steve Mnuchin, from uh, negotiating with Nancy Pelosi and the Democrats over stimulus. He wants to wait until after the election. Um, and yes, oh, Eddie, Van, Eddie Van Halen did pass away, Miss Adverb. If you didn't hear J R A N Y C, he, he called that out. So rest in peace to him. But yeah, he was he was sixty five. He had been yeah he was sixty five. He had been uh, struggling and fighting cancer yeah uh, for quite a while. That's why he he basically went back in the cut. Um, it's weird. A lot of people that are celebrities uh, that like four or five this year that are big celebrities. C cancer, cancer has been 
you know, taking them, taking them out. So, yeah. Um, but, and he was dope. But with that in mind and rest in peace, um, speaking of being taken out, um, we are going to say his name. Uh, sorry, Jonathan Price. Uh, this is a brother yes. who was uh, killed by a Texas cop uh, over the weekend. Um, apparently, he was trying to uh, break up a domestic incident at a at like a gas station store or something like that, where a man was right. putting his hands on a woman. Cops show up. They, they, so the the two dudes end up getting into it. The, the the attacker of the woman ends up attacking this this young brother, Jonathan Price, and um, and the cops show up. Apparently, trying to detain uh, brother Price. Uh, witnesses say he was backing away, um, you know, non-threateningly, got tased, and then got shot. And now he's dead. Um, the cop has been... Char- How much more of this shit do we need to the see? The cop has been charged with murder. Um, million dollar bond, but I believe he's out on that bond already. Um, but... Yeah, you know what? you know what I noticed about that is the general public, when a cop shoots... Uh, an unarmed black man, it is just so many people will start GoFundMes and donate money and million, you know, millions of dollars for these fucking murderers has been put down for this. And even after they're proven a murderer, do you understand that money that they, they donated goes to them if, you know, goes to them or their families. So it's so fucked up that it's so, that that's the case. You know what I'm saying? It's just, ugh. God. Yeah. Um... Sorry. No, you know, it, it, it's, you know, yeah, man. It, unfortunately, yeah. back... Hey, don't, don't, don't make that noise. No. Don't make that noise. You know, back in May, back in May when um, we watched George Floyd's life um, fade away on, on camera, um, you know, I said back then, we were talking about just like, unfortunately, that's not going to be the last one we see this year. And we've seen so many. Right. We've seen so many more. I guess I would say, fortunately, we didn't. We didn't have to watch this one. It, it, it doesn't appear to be. I haven't seen any video of it. Um, and and did you see what Pandora's box said? Did you see that? What Pandora? What about the man? They say that they a man they killed and lied by saying he was in a car accident. Did those cops get yeah. charged yet? I need to look. I'm not even to hip that. to that. Yeah, yeah. I, I I have heard about that. I just haven't. I. I I don't have that on the on the radar on my radar. Sorry, um, so I, I need to look into that Pandora. But but we'll talk about that because I have heard about it. I just don't know enough. Um, what, what we do know about this is that um, at least the, the, the T- Texas Department of Public Safety, um, after pressure from Price's family, did, did move fairly swiftly to um, arrest and charge. Uh, the officer involved. Um, this happened in. Uh, but did you know, did, uh, Pedro? Did you know that that, that it's, this is fucked up, but it's true that most of the time when cops shoot black men, they did a uh, they did a, a survey and checked it out. They said maybe two to three cops were actually convicted out of all of the cops. Two or three, mm-hmm. not two or three hundred or two or because there's hundreds. Two or three, so. I'm hoping that in this situation, because you saw what just happened with Breonna Taylor. I think it was one cop got, you know, got a, a charge. The other two just got the tiptoe they ass the fuck on. And if this happens in this situation, because even though they're charging with murder, it's still not a done deal until he's actually in jail for murder. You know what I'm saying? Right. And it's just like, man, it. I mean, I was just talking with Rollo about this shit. And because I said that I really have to get my emotions in check because it is, it is, it is arm myself time. Um, you know, go buy, go pay the money and go, you know, spend the time to practice to get good. Um, I've shot guns before, but nothing, you know, on some irresponsible pow, 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 pow shit. Yeah. So uh, I, I need to really do that because I think it's going down. And Rollo, what, what's just, up, Rollo? Just, just speaking of There you go. Um, think of the devil. It, it, I think it is. It's it's to that point. It's to that point. And I think what you said, um, you they were you were. I think the doctor was talking to you, and you said, "What seems the problem?" You said, uh, "Crackers. Yeah. Crackers are the problem." Yeah. <laughs> what What do you mean the problem? Like saltine? No, no, no. Crackers. 
that's the but reason. How do you feel? Crackers. On, on, on I feel like crackers are outside. That's that's all. Um, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, man, uh, it's uh, you know this this is one of those where. Uh, and, and so Eve's apple in the building. What's Eve, up, Eve? What's going on? Eve underscore apple seven nine one six. We love you. Um, this one is where um, Lee Merritt is, is representing the family, uh, and according to him, you know, he, he said that he was told that um, Jonathan Price was like was tased, and then upon convulsing from the tasing, was was shot. You know, um, so uh, what did they shoot him to stop him from taste from convulsing? Uh, you know, I the, the, this this officer ah. Sean Lucas is his name of the Wolf City Police Department. This is in Texas. Um, you know, even the Texas Department of Public um, Safety. Let me get the the exact quote, but they basically that he acted, <laughs> you know, way out of bounds. Uh, the the, pre the preliminary investigation indicates that the actions of Officer Lucas were were not objectionably objectionably reasonable. Uh, basically, he was out of his goddamn mind. There ain't no ain't nobody. There ain't nothing reasonable about shooting somebody after I after tasing the man. Shooting and and what are you tasing him for? You don't even. They, yeah, what are you tasing him for? They don't even. Uh, they don't even uh, assess situations properly because. The initial thing wasn't had nothing to do with Jonathan Price. He was just trying to help out, you know, in a situation where a man was putting his hands on a woman. Um, so, you know, I would say that initially the officer didn't even assess the situation properly uh, if he was trying to detain Jonathan Price at all, according to the details we have. So, yeah, well, you know what, though? <laughs> I mean, fuck number one, I, I, I'm telling you, fuck the police is going to go right back into the. Right back into the rotation if we keep having this shit happen. The other thing is, um, they every time I hear about this, do they know how to de-escalate? Do cops even know how to de-escalate? It's just like, yo, okay, what happened? You guys stopped fighting. What happened? All right, so you were fighting because he was beating up the woman, and that was it. And so was, let's, all right, like, so, so you, the pre person that was beating up the woman, you go to jail. Uh, you're getting arrested for beating up the woman. And you, young man, you are getting a merit badge or something. But it's always niggas pow, niggas pow. So I'm on. I'm telling you, Pedro was right. Pedro's getting the right kind of armor, weapon, tree to get us over the fucking hump. And he's gonna hear a knock on the door. Pedro will be like, "Who is it?" And he goes, "We've been waiting to get you, Mister Savage, motherfucker." And then all of a sudden, you hear, it. <laughs> and then, and then, and then, then Pedro opens the door. Hey, man. I'm good at six feet, bro. Hey, you know, <laughs> and then that's it. Uh, you know, ventilate these motherfuckers. Nah, man. I, you know, I, that that is not a scenario I hope for. But like, you know, and and you know, again, it's this is a very good. This chance. is state violence, by the way. You know, this is a a, a cop, obviously untrained in any type of de-escalation or communication. Um, oh, forgot to mention, uh, the cop is white. <laughs> Sorry, I left that detail out. Yeah, <laughs> wouldn't wanna. You know what? leave anything up to uh <laughs> so what do we do hold up we've been talking about this forever all right i want to know from the savage af uh, uh viewers savage af nation don't be average be savage it's savage time we got all the sayings in the world what do we do about this shit because it continues to happen over and over again and then we talk about it then we mad about it then we say this and then we say that what do we fucking do is it time to really just go ham or is it time to really say look if we're not going to use our voting power, like, it, say Biden gets in. If we don't fucking hold them accountable, then we deserve the shit. I know that sounds fucked up. Then we deserve the shit. We deserve to deal, but to have it go down every single time where the white cop shoots the unarmed black man and gets to tiptoe his ass away with paid fucking leave. And that then, and we need to just shut the fuck up. If we don't vote some of these sheriffs out, some of these fucking deputies that get voted in, if we don't do the shit... I'm at this at the point of shut the fuck up, or I'm gonna have Pedro, who's obviously the better shot of all of us, Rollo. Um, I'm gonna have him <laughs> go out, and he's gonna have to. We, and well, we got his back. I mean, we got his back. We're gonna stand behind him while he does it. I mean, I'm not gonna shit. Uh, I'm gonna let him do his thing. Hey, but no, but, but realistically, when you ask what what do we do, um, you know, the we first of all takes organization, right? So people have to be 
yeah. um, somehow organized to, because listen, again, as an individual with a gun or, you know, an array of guns, uh, you're not going to do much against the state, you know, whatever state you live in or city you live in, those cops with the armor tank and, and you know, Gertrude's going to go tink, tink, tink against that big ass um, truck thing that they use to well, fucking. Do well, shit. but you know what though? But, but if you're if you're if you're if you're if you're clever, if you're clever about it, and, and you know we could do some damage yeah. if we want to. We could so, you know. It, okay, yeah, maybe yeah, not. Yeah, no. All right, but you know, not. and you got to be semi-serious about this because you know we. I'm not encouraging. Yeah. Well, I'm not, I'm well, not encouraging I mean, we're not anybody. the suicide not squad. Anybody. And uh, do anything. You know, I heard some clap back out there. I saw some comments like that. But, you know, ask, ask Kenneth Walker about clapping back. You know what I mean? And, and how that works out. So um, it didn't save Breonna Taylor. Um, and, 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 and obviously it's not Brother Walker's fault at all. He, he did what any American in their right mind would do who is armed in that situation legally. But <clears throat> it, it didn't work out still. Yet and still, right? Uh, almost, yeah. almost, I mean, almost I, I've been in jail, this situation. Almost went to jail himself for it. You know what I mean? Like they wanted to charge him with murder. So you you gotta you gotta think about it. Like it's not gonna be you versus. Well, you gotta think sensibly. Them. But I mean, and even the situation in this situation, I I've been there. I this is a long time ago. I was what was I forty? I was forty two. I was forty two years old. Some dude was like, I mean, socking his girl up right in the middle of Manhattan. I'm like, so everybody's just gonna walk past. And not try to stop this dude from sock. I mean, socking her up, not smacking her. I'm talking about like, <laughs> and she was taking the blows. So apparently she had a good chin. Um, it's fucked up that I was saying that, but she did. And I jumped into it. And then I luckily, because I was scared. Luckily, I got I got behind him and got him, you know, around his neck to calm him down, not to hurt him. And the more he tried to hit me, the angrier I got like, OK, fuck you, nigga. Then I started choking hard. And then if she jumped on my back and started fucking pulling my hair really hard, I turn around and not to hurt her, just to get her off of me. She falls down. So she was getting her ass beat by the dude. I'm jumping and he's on the ground and she's like standing up, squaring off with me. I'm like, fuck that dude. Get up, beat her ass. Yeah. And I walked away, but nobody jumped in. No cops, no nothing. So... It made me from then on go, yeah, if I see that happen, it makes me apprehensive to go, yeah, but sometimes you get into it and then you end up, you you end up being the one hurt, you know? Yeah. I mean, like, she, the, my scalp on the back where she pulled my hair was blood. Ouch. Because she pulled my hair so hard when she jumped. Yeah, so it was like a, a patch of blood. So, I, you know, and I didn't even know it because you just, I just thought, ouch, she pulled my hair. And then, you know, you rub your hand through your head and go, the fuck, is that blood? So. Yeah. I'm telling you right now, man, in that situation, I'm sad that that happened. But I'm telling you, I'm at a point now where it's like, yo, man, I got to get back home to the kids, you know? Yeah, yeah, for sure. So, and, um, and, you know, in an, in an effort for any of us to do that, I think, uh, you know, you, you got to you gotta be organized in some way around, you know, whether it's your neighborhood, your block or whatever. But it, it can't just be you alone. So right. when you ask what do we do, the we is organized first, you know what I mean? Uh, then tr then prepare and train yourself. You know what I mean? Uh, Donnie B, we see you in the building. Bermuda's in the house. Um, but, you know. But, I mean, when you go to shooting range, they said it's expensive. Is it expensive to, to, to do that? I mean, I guess that de ultimately depends on your budget and what you have. I, I, I typically, I bring my own um, ammo, so I, I tend to spend like 15 bucks there when I go. So That's not bad. I, I mean, you do you have, do they getting charge the, you to get the, in there? Getting the guns and the bullets. I mean, no, they charge you for the time at the at the range or whatever. That's all. But it, it, but if you end up renting a gun and 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 uh, renting ammo or whatever, then uh, that's what that is. You know, that that costs too. Like I said, I haven't done that because I have a gun and ammo. Um, but you know, that being said, <clears throat> a gun wouldn't have saved uh, Jonathan Price in this situation, right? So. Um, because at that point he just becomes a criminal in their eyes, no matter what was going on. So, um, you know, whatever organizations are out there that are organizing black people in a sensible way, but, you know, in a way to protect 
the community, right. <clears throat> I think you should seek those and find one that does speak to you and, and speaks wisely about it. Um, so that, that's what we do. Look at Coach Mac 0304. Detroit is in the house. What up, Daryl? Um, uh oh, uh oh. Uh, it's just a Detroit takeover. You know, it is, bro. I don't three, one, three. You know and, and by the way, uh, Coach, uh, I just want you to know that, that Pedro guy, you got to watch him. He has a filthy mouth. Hey. He's just a filthster. A tr- you're a filthster. You're a trickster guy. Don't, don't listen to him, ladies. I'm a trickster. He seems nice. Don't listen to him, ladies. <laughs> he, he pulls a tricky on you. He's, he's um, no, I just I I was just talking I was talking to somebody about us doing the show and trying to get more interviews done, and I I told him about you, and I said it just jokingly, and they're like, yeah, I watched some of it. Um, I wouldn't say filthy. He's just you know expressing himself. I thought it was <laughs> hilarious. It was white. Woman. <laughs> and, uh, well, we did the interview. The one we'll interview. She, she's white. Up from Portland, yeah. and then. They saw they saw that one, and then there's another one we're going to do on Facebook. And I was trying to set it up, and it was hilarious. I said, "No, I watched it. He just, you know, he's expressing himself. That's he's just, it's America. They just just saying what he feels." First Amendment. Baby. That's all. Let's go. Um, so First Amendment. That's what it is. Speaking of tricksters, uh, we have one in the White House. We have several in the White House, but unfortunately, the main one sits in the <laughs> Oval Office, um, hopefully coughing a fucking lung out right now. Um, I hope so, but I, I, I'm telling you right now, he, he is a super spreader by himself. And what's the little creepy initial racist guy that looks Stephen, like Smeagol? Yeah, his, uh, um, Stephen Miller, his, his little uh, you know, racist uh, mastermind. You know, it's like having a... Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, he got it, by the way. So I, I, I he got it. This is, I just, somehow, this man is a Jewish Nazi, Stephen Miller. So I, I, I don't even know what that means, but... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> we we do. Miss Everett said the White House got cooties. Yeah, it do, it do. <laughs> you, ew, you got the White House touched. T Bone, no contact. Um, yeah. So Giuliani didn't get it yet. He's one of the out of the eight people in the room who helped Trumpy Dumpty uh, prep for the debate. Um, six of them got infected, um, but Giuliani and one other person have not come up yet positive. But that being said. Your hostage taker in chief now, that is uh, President, impeached President Trump D. Dumpty. Um, impeached President impeached Trump President D. Dumpty. Trump D. Dumpty. We, we got to start saying that every time now. Fuck him. Uh, fuck him. And fuck his followers, too, yeah. in the ass he, with a, a broomstick. He has announced um, that he, he has instructed his, his staff and his team to stop negotiating um, stimulus talks and negotiations with the Democrats with, with Nancy Pelosi and, Pelosi and her team, um, you know, <laughs> and he says he's not, they're not going to, they're going to wait until after the election. And when he wins, then they're going to pass, you know, it's one of those, they're going to pass a bill like you've never seen before. You've never seen a bill like the one we're going to pass when, when, when I get reelected and the Republicans. Is that maintain just like control. when he said, if you're going to see it. Yeah. You're going to see a healthcare plan like you've never seen before that he's never, you know, yeah, he's man. never come through it. I got a health care plan. You want to get rid of Obama? Oh, you want to get rid of the Affordable Care Act? Okay, well, what's your plan? Oh, you'll see it in a couple of weeks after the election. He always uses that. And if people are dumb enough to fall for it, then we're dumb enough to fucking deal with four more years of that bitch. Because that's ridiculous. What do you, how do you say, yeah, I'm a, you know, I'm going to give it to you, but that's after you vote for me. What do you mean? I need the oxygen now, motherfucker. Ugh. I, it, yeah. He needs his ass beat. He needs his ass beat. I sent and you a video of somebody beating their ass, and I wanted you to see that. They they need to ask me. He he and AJ Fit three sixty five. Yeah, I mean he he's been fucking with the stock market this whole time because him getting out of the hospital all early uh, caused a spike in the stock market, right? A little confidence, and then when he says, "Oh, we're gonna fuck the stimulus, uh, we're gonna wait till after the election. Y'all gonna need me. It's either me or you don't get no fucking money." Uh, the the Dow went down 600 points when he said that, um, AJ Fit. Yeah, so, um, you know, it, it it's this is one of those things where it's like, you know what? I mean, we joked about it th- th- yesterday, but yeah, I think maybe the steroids are fucking with his head. <laughs> I think the drugs are getting to you, buddy. <laughs> I think he might so be this, this crazier a- than he already was. Are you kidding me? I mean, we already yeah. saw that they weren't really trying to get shit done. <laughs> To be honest, you know, like the the the, right. the, the, the bills they floated out were, they, it was called skinny, but really it was an emaciated. It was it was Kaylee McEnany 
after a three day fast. You know, it's like emaciated Barbie. Um, that that that's the bill. Yeah. That's the package of stimulus that the the, the GOP wants to put out. And that's uh, and that and then so it's barely good faith. Cuomo anyways. was trying to say. Uh, Cuomo made me mad with the you know yeah the Democrats and shame on the Democrats. We mean shame on the Democrats. Okay, there's no shame on the Democrats. There's no both sides of this shit. Motherfuckers on the Republican side are the ones the GOP and they, you know, they gangsta ass, they corrupt ass is trying to use it to do that. And he's on steroids. He asked Mattis to fucking, you want to arm wrestle, bitch? Really? I mean, he's like that crazy. Like, who wants to arm wrestle? Come on. He's like, he's out of his mind. And when he walked up the steps, that corny shit that corny Mussolini bullshit and tried to do this shit. I'm like, motherfucker, you weren't in the service? What are you doing? Like, it's so corny, all the shit he's doing and standing up there and, and he did multiple takes. Like, like, oh, man. And these people that are following don't see that. But did some other shit, though. After the, after the debate, they said that Biden got a bump and a half for your ass. He's at 17% higher. That don't mean nothing because... They cheating their ass off and they could actually win because mysteriously some more fucking mailboxes went missing. Oops. Yeah. People don't realize you can pull up in a truck and get one of those. Yeah. You can't do that shit with the fucking ballot boxes. They're gigantic. They're heavy as fuck. And you got to be the Hulk to take one of those. Oh, yeah. So we need more ballot boxes because that's when the shit's going down. But I, I, you know, speaking of the vote, I just, I'm, I'm not. I listen. I, I know the man is generally just trying to distract people from doing stuff, but th this seems to be a direct order to Steve Mnuchin um, to st stop negotiating with o over stimulus that you know so many millions of Americans need. Whether you're red state, blue state, right. green fish, blue fish, green eggs, ham. I don't know. You know, it doesn't matter, dog. Like there are broke motherfuckers out here, and and we're about to get into that in, in a second, but. I just think speaking about strategy wise, I, I just don't see how he could possibly think that this would help his his vote at all, like help help him in the polls at all, um, other than the raccoons that live inside his head are now suffering from the steroids that have been put into his body. So now that he's got maybe he breathed out he's got, on roided, yeah, he's got roided out raccoons in his mind running around and it's like, oh, you know what? I got to get out of this hospital. It's driving me crazy. America needs me. I'm going to take a picture. Cut off the stimulus. I don't give a fuck. You better vote for me or you don't get no money. It's like, and I don't know why the raccoons sound like Mr. T. Yeah, I'm going to go for a ride. I'm going to go for a ride. I'm going to wave at people. I don't know, I don't yeah, know why the raccoons stupid. sound like Mr. T in his head, but they, they obviously do. It, you know, it was just like, <laughs> so apparently they, the they saw the movie. Steve the Lewis raccoons saw the movie. People. Fuck Nancy. Fuck everybody. <laughs> vote for me. Uh, yeah, I don't, I don't know how that happened. You got your shot. Why don't you give me my <laughs> shot? Yeah, like, yeah. He's <laughs> By the way, that was the best villain of all the Rockies. Oh, yeah. If anybody hasn't seen the Rockies, Mr. T was the best villain. Him and a dude, Drago. I think it was Drago. If he dies, he dies. The, the Arnold guy, but bigger. Yeah. Um, I think that when you see this, when you see this hot, like, got perfect, Pedro, that was fucking perfect. Hostage situation that they're using. Like, we need Sam Jackson to come <laughs> negotiate this shit. <laughs> Look, motherfucker, let the stimulus go, bitch. And like I, I want to see people be a little bit more. Now Kamala's gonna do her 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 uh, her thing in the debate, That's and Pence is gonna be a little wooden fucking. He's gonna be his wooden gay dancer, <laughs> private dancer. Yes. You know we already know that. <laughs> but um, I tell you right now, if the American public can't see this shit, I'm on this shit now. Because I was looking at some of the shit that was been done. If they can't see this shit, then fuck it. We just we just gonna have to deal with four more years of this bitch. Maybe eight more years, because the motherfucker, I don't think, is going to leave quietly. And even if he did lose, he's going to start Trump TV and, and constantly be going at Biden. Years. Look how he still talks about Hillary, and he act like he was running against Obama. Yeah. The motherfucker's crazy. I think the raccoons, the raccoons, apparently, been fucking other raccoons and their, their relative raccoons, and little, like, you know... <laughs> Raccoons have come out through his head. He's out of his mind. I'm just stunned yeah. that he's doing everything. He's going in that. There's a, always there is literally something bad happening every day. That's why we keep going. Yeah, and do you notice that every day is some other fuck boy shit he did. Yeah. And and I'm telling you, anybody on the speed that's voting for Trump, he's a fuck boy too. Or blender I, hat. You call a woman a fuck. 
get your get your uh, Savage AF blender hats if you want to if you want to vote for Trump, please. Um, and to be honest, uh, full disclosure, I don't you know, unlike his doctors, I, I will be honest with you guys. I I don't know if there are actually raccoons in his head or if they're muskrats or like Prime Minister of Taste suggested bats maybe. But somehow there there's some sort of rodentia. Okay, just a rodent that typically would, something. would dig through garbage would be attracted to his mind because there's garbage. In it the wouldn't world. be New York rats because New York rats will walk up while you're eating pizza and grab it off you and go, give me a piece hey, of that, hey. shut your mouth. I'm going to go back down. I'm going to go back down to the subway, share it with my boys. No Parmesan. Right? I want you tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, I want, I want you here tomorrow on this corner. We want pizza every fucking day. If we don't get this piece of pizza with me and my other rat friends, you and you, you know, will be at your house, right? Slapping them up. I'm telling you, you know what it is, honestly, Pedro. Do you have you gotten sad yet over the shit? Like it just, uh, it just keeps coming. Ugh, black men keep getting shot <coughs> by the police, and nobody's done anything yet. Ugh, it's like, uh, uh you know, I think with the passing of some people, that, uh, you know, relatives and and friends and stuff that recently, in the past week and a half. Mm-hmm. Yeah, in the past week and a half, it's been it's been like that. Um, have you let it get you down? Because there's a lot of people. Because when I saw this shit, even when I saw what you, the run up, I just went. I mean, I knew about it, but I was just like, ugh. Have you gotten to that point where you're just like, fuck everybody? That's where I'm at. Um, fuck, oh, fuck, an- fuck the Trump supporters. No, yeah. Before I answer that, uh, Siva three one three says all of my white coworkers are voting for Trump. They love him. Like he's part of their family, uh, Ciba three one three. I encourage you to uh, go ahead and update your resume, brother, and find a new work environment, and then say fuck everybody at that job. <laughs> but in terms of it getting all this stuff getting me down, um, you know, I, I have moments and whatnot. But um, you know, like I was explaining to my therapist last week, is like, I mean, yeah, all of this stuff is heavy and you know, emotional and anxiety, you know, inducing, but uh you know i calm myself by being prepared you know it's like if you can't stand the rain get an umbrella you know what i mean get a raincoat and some galoshes <laughs> and then get out there buddy. hey man i am sick of this water falling yeah. from the sky uh well you know, so cover yourself when, when you know what, what a situation is um i i i, I, have I just want to do have some violence to, to any bullshit and i don't know if it's gonna work or whatever but i feel comfort in having a plan so that that's just um part of how i operate to keep me you know, keep my head right it's like okay well i i'm trying to figure out uh there was a yes it's a meme i know you don't like memes but there's a meme that uh, I'm just going to rattle off. The election is rigged unless he wins. The news is fake unless it's flattering. Everything's a hoax unless I tweet it. Nepotism is bad unless it's my family. I'm rich, but you can't see my taxes. I'm smart, but you can't see my grades. I'm successful, but my business failed. My staff is the best until I fire them. I'm innocent, but I stop my staff from testifying. That's all of the list, and it goes on and on. Yeah, and on. Yeah. All of these different factors, and you said the people at your job all loving Mikey's family, well, then that means he's a fucked up member of the family. My uncle was a fucked up member of my family, and my uncle got shot in the head at an ATM Christmas Day. Ah, and people were like, oh, that's fucked up. Your, your uncle got killed. I'm like, the nigga was trash. Wow. Okay, I'm not gonna, I mean, it's fucked up to say yeah. that. He was a horrible person. He extorted people. <laughs> he beat his woman up. He, I mean, he, so people were like, that's for me. You gonna sit in bunch, uncle? He was horrible. I know Bro, him. If you get, I knew him more than you knew him. If you get shot, if you get shot, so if your, he's family, if you get shot in your head on Christmas Day, you did something. Most you did likely. something. It wasn't like you just like, yeah, we are gonna just shoot you on Christmas. No, Christmas Day, and it was just it's crazy to me that, and you know, I, I remember I got to argue with my family because I said, is anybody really surprised? This is the second time this happened in my life. Where I've said something about a family member and it ended up in a fist fight with family, not just random people. Family fist fight, which is different than a regular fist fight. Um, but I just want to know how do you work in an environment where everybody's saying, he's like my family. I mean, he's just like us, except for he was pampered and rich from day one. I mean, I've been eating muskrat ass all my life and he's been eating caviar. But we're the same. We're the same. I mean, how do you see that? I mean, but like you said, I get prepared now. Now, but then also I do, I did some petty shit. 
I had some people saying some fucked up shit on my on one of my uh, pages, and I just I sat systematically while I was watching a movie and threatened them all back, like about twenty emails. I literally said. How about fuck you too? <laughs> How about I bash you in the head? See, that's what I bash you. And that's in the another head. way I stay sane like, and positive out here. Is I do not fucking involve my. I don't go back and forth with motherfuckers about uh, bullshit. I, I can't. I, do I, it. You know what? Sometimes, it, it sometimes go. it's bad. Yeah, let it go, dog. And my ex used to hate me doing it, but come on, man. Sometimes it's fun. It's funny how you can tell the real ones from the fake ones. Cause one dude said, "Oh, you gonna bash me in the head? You can get bashed in the head." I said, "Well, I guess we gonna have a big bash then." <laughs> bash fest twenty. And we went back and. Or, yeah, he came back at me. I came back at him. But then the other ones were like, "I'm gonna see you. I'm gonna see you, bitch." And then you could see when they're like, "Hey, man, come on, come <laughs> on, man. Talking. It's just fucking internet fun." <laughs> Why are you so serious, talking? bro? <laughs> um, come on, right, bro. So, speak, yeah. Speaking of serious, I, I saw Eve's underscore Apple says she got to get the fuck out of Arkansas. Well, if you're looking to move, unfortunately, there will be. Uh, a lot of vacancies in a lot of places because America is about to kick everybody the fuck out. <laughs> America is about to kick everybody the fuck out their house, man. Um, right. You know, it, this this is one of those things, and and you know, this is this is coming on the heels of uh, your your impeached president. Everybody telling us that he's not going to talk about uh, any relief money, even though we know people are out there struggling. There are still food lines out there. People are so food insecure right now. People are, and they were already worried, but that right now it is so heightened. Uh, people are rent right. insecure. Food banks. They said food banks. Food banks have been on uh, normally aren't twenty four seven around the clock, um, but lately because of this situation, they're twenty four seven. Also, with the landlords on one, and the courts are filled up. Um, virtual courts are filled up, which is crazy. Yeah. Virtual courts. You can't even get a, <laughs> you can't a court with virtual court. courts pertaining to. You can't log on and get, yeah. But they, they said that I was watching a, a thing uh, online where this guy was going around evicting people. He said, what did you, how many did you do today? I did 200. Yes, I did 350 evictions. And then they interviewed the people that were leaving. I'm like, I guess we're going to go stay with our relatives. And they had their baby in their arm and their clothes. Some of them, when they evict you, they lock the door so your shit's inside. Mm -hmm. And your shit becomes their shit. Bro, they try, they try, this, this one dude in, in uh, Denver, they, this is a white guy. Only, he only, for this uh, BuzzFeed article, he only identified himself as Thai. You know, didn't want to, you know, expo expose, his, expose his full situation. But, you know, um, lost his job due to COVID. Um, lost his apartment, got evicted. All this shit was in it, just like you said. <clears throat> and they wanted to charge him $1,100 for him to get his belongings out of the apartment. And it's like, bro, I don't I have get, money for the fucking I, I pay rent if I had $1,100, you know what I mean? Like, you, <laughs> like that, 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 so, you know, this, this is like- Why are we laughing at that? But well, it's no, true, I, it's I, like, yes, it's dumb logic. I think what you laugh at is how ridiculous it is. Yeah, how right, ridiculously right, right. heartless it is, how ridiculously unthoughtful it is. And, and you know, sometimes when shit like that is so egregious, you're just like, what's <laughs> It's one of those laughs, like, am I going to have to stab somebody? I'm going to stab you now. You know, it's like that. I didn't want to stab you. I'm going to stab you. I'm not bitch of a wife. Yeah, so, yeah. It, you know. But you know what, though? The, the landlords, if you look at the situation, even a situation like that, I correlated with, when I saw uh, some of the stuff online, the same thing with the person that was a rep, a rep for Trump was saying, well, Trump knows more about COVID. Now that he's got COVID, he's more learned about COVID. So he knows how to fight COVID more than Biden does. And since Biden didn't get COVID, guess what? He's not qualified to know to deal with COVID. That's that same crazy town logic that makes, yeah, exactly, Eve. That's why my alter ego uh, uh, Uncle Stabby when this was created. Sucks. Uncle Stabby was not, I mean, it was just out the blue. I said, you know what? Some motherfuckers need to get stabbed. Stab and this That's what Uncle Stabby gonna do. <laughs> All you parents, stab you right in your ass. <laughs> the, the, the big meaty part of your ass. If you, if you got I mean, me it's ass. crazy. Um, 200, 200 people in one day, 250 people in another day evicted. And that's and that's and no area. stimulus. No, no, one city, right? One area. In one area. No, Houston. It was in Houston. It was in Houston. 
That's not, I'm, man. So if you notice, have you driven through Hollywood? A lot of stuff's getting blocked off in the streets and stuff. And they had a couple um, rallies up in Hollywood. I had to drive all the way around, and it was it was fine. Um, but there's way more homeless people, mm -hmm. way more tents, mm -hmm. way more. Like, if you look, all of Hollywood's fucked up with mm -hmm. tents. Um, we're blessed to have a place, a roof over our head. I, I, I don't mean blessed because I'm not religious, but, you know, I mean, people use the word blessed. We're lucky yeah. to fortunate. have a roof over fortunate. our head. But, man, there's a lot of people fucking fortunate. There's a lot of people really fucking you know, taking it to the face with that. And then the not getting the stimulus when you know people are getting evicted. And I'm sure that his staff had to hip him to people being evicted. Mm -hmm. How cold is this motherfucker? It is the, the, he's a snake. Miss Soto, welcome. Lynette yeah, but then, so, we'll see you. Yeah. Um, what's up, Lynette? Lynette starts a lot of shit, though. Lynette starts a lot of shit. Watch Lynette. On the she's, she's, she, she, she's a good woman, but, you know, she's little, you know, she will fist fight you. In the yeah, street. You know, so it, it, it just, it, it's like, it, it's even more infuriating to have the president hold America hostage over stimulus um, based on his reelection or not. Um, and then at the same time, so, you know, part of that stimulus, part of any next stimulus bill would be to, some of it, part of it has to be to help people with rent. And by the way, even, even, even the, the previous rent, relief programs or whatever uh you know th it's not like forgetting the rent it's just forgiving the period but people are stacking up months of back pay and rent that they that they're never right. going to be able to catch up with so hey i'm going to pay my rent now that'll be ten thousand dollars yeah I, yeah that's what it is and publicity mag is saying uh i guess he's saying trump he was the only one that signed the stimulus check if you don't get your ass the fuck out of here with that by the way Publicity Mag. If you don't get your ass, you know what? All the people that's going through this shit, we're going to get together and we're going to jump you. We're going to old school jump you. Like, get him, get him. Don't let him get through the fucking gate. He's trying to run, motherfucker. Get it with these hands. Are you serious? There's so many people that are going to have so many problems without the stimulus and getting evicted. What are they going to do? You say, well, crime will rise. Yeah, crime will rise. Because there's some people like, yo, my son got to eat. Fuck that. You got to get got. There's a lot of people that are starting to think like that because I've had conversations on the phone with them. Some people have lost their fucking mind. I'm not going to mention any names, but there's some people you, you know and I know that have just gone off the rails because of this shit. Luckily, we're grounded enough, like you said, if you know there's going to be rain, get an umbrella. But there's some people like, I ain't got no money for an umbrella, so how about I take your umbrella? That's what's going to happen. There'll be a lot of motherfuckers taking people's umbrellas. Yes, it's crazy. Yeah. Crime always ri right, rises. Uh, towns, is it Towns? Read that, man. Ooh, towns really? send. Towns in, towns you read in it? Delvin. Towns? Crime always. Towns in Delvin? Yeah, crime always right. No, it don't always. It was well, 15% when, when people, with when under. People, when uh, poverty is around, it does. It, oh, it, yes, yes, right, right, right. Right, well. Um, and then that's, and we, you know, that's that's what we're headed towards, man. Um, is, is, you know, I think a, a, a large wave of evictions, they're already occurring. Um, but, you know, to, to slightly address what P Publicity Mag was saying, um, you know, signing stimulus checks could be a thing that, that impeach President Trump D. Dumpty could hang his hat on and be like, look at all this money I passed out. You saying I ain't, get, I ain't did it for you? You you saying daddy ain't here for you, daddy rich in the house, you know what I'm saying? It's like when you when you got it like that and you step in the club, they 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 fly Man. to you, boy, because they know what you do. Um, but he just he just I don't know why you're doing the little dance. That's, that's, but when that, you got, that it, when you got it like that, you ain't, just gonna, you ain't just gonna walk in the club like, hey, where's the bathroom? You know, you can come in with a little swag. You're yeah, gonna, you're gonna be like, yeah, I got it. I got these shoulders going. You know what I'm saying? Um, well, no, I I think the people realize that that, and plus the 1100 which went down. Money wise, it's not even that now. Uh, it's gonna be. It's not gonna make people think differently. And by the way, if Trump loses the his job, evict him. Evict him. He will be evicted. Miss Ever, he will be evicted, and he will get arrested. I really do believe that the New York uh, <laughs> prosecutor is not fucking around, and they've been waiting on yes. Trump. So I think Trump. It, and by the way, yes, E, that was Pedro's pimp dance. That. That's, it that's just it's just what I like to call my player stroll. You know what I'm saying? I don't really be pimping. I don't like to put my, I don't like to put my hands on them, dog. You know what I'm saying? But I, I do a little player thing. You know what I'm saying? That's what we do.
Yeah, a little player. Hey, speaking of, by the way, Detroit is known for the players and pimp, uh, pimps. Gators. I've 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 done shows for pimps in Detroit, and the pimp hand in Detroit is strong. I think it was created there. I think the first pimp <laughs> ever. <laughs> Eve's Eve, yeah, was yeah, from yeah, Detroit. No, Eve's underscore Apple seven nine one six said gangsters don't dance, they boogie. Gangster boogie. Um so speaking of um of uh pimping in the game, okay, next era is a uh, is a company. Uh spell it just like it sound, all one word, next era. Uh, right. Not the tennis yeah, shoes. Yeah. Not the tennis shoes, because there's a next inter era tennis shoe company. Is it really? I didn't know about that. But uh um, Yeah. Yeah, new era. Oh, no, yeah, that new, new era. era. I was like, wait, are you sure? There's, uh, wait a minute. Is it next era? No, no I fucked new, it up. You know what? Balance. I've been drinking. There's God damn balance. it. There's new balance. No, it's called, it's called okay. new era. Oh, in fact, let me look these motherfuckers But anyway, next era uh, is the company that on, on Monday, era. very, very briefly, uh, before the closing of the market, uh, overtook uh, Exxon as the world's most valuable uh, energy company, okay? Um, let me get the actual figures on, on how much... How I'm much sorry, don't do correct me. They're hats. It's new oh, yeah, era new hats. Era My bad. Hats. Yeah, that's right. There we go. That's what it did. I've been drinking. It sounded familiar. Um, but uh, so Next Era, this is a company out of uh, Juno Beach, Florida. New Bell. Florida. Right. Um, they... Uh, they primarily deal with wind and solar energy. Um, I, I think they're the largest uh, wind entity in America and the, and the second largest in uh, solar. Uh, they also do a bit of... Well, you know, Trump doesn't believe in that. Trump doesn't believe in... He said windmills. There's no way you can get electricity from windmills. What if the wind stops? So, what happens when... And yes, I, I know it's half now. Um, so uh, yeah. this company, Next Era, also produces some natural gas and nuclear power. But they're mostly wind and solar. Um, and on Monday, it's, it's valuation. This is their website. Its valuation hit uh, $138.3 billion. Um, but then, but they've, they've swapped places twice since then. Um, I guess Exxon is now valued at $2 billion. Um, they, they were tied at some point at $142.7 billion in terms of uh, their value. However, understand that Exxon, um, while Next Era made nineteen uh, billion dollars uh, last year in revenue, um, Exxon made like two hundred and twenty-five. So they still make more money, but we're talking about the value of the companies. And and right now, Next Era, their stock, like their stock growth, has has done better than the the average of the entire market itself. Um, and they're now trading at $287 a stock, while Exxon is at $33, uh, which might sound like a t good time to jump in. But realistically, what's happening is that, you know, due to the uh, pandemic, you know, you've had a lot less uh, road travel and air travel. Um, huge. J News in the building. Welcome. Welcome up, to Jay Hollywood, nigga. Uh, you've had... You've had <laughs> White women and cocaine. <laughs> We've had a lot less uh, air travel and other things like that. that so a lot less oil consumption. Um, and, and Exxon is feeling it. You know, they, it, they are hurting, but the earth isn't. You know what I mean? This is, this, this is actually a good thing. Uh, other, and also, I, I believe Exxon deserves this because um, while other companies, Chevron and others, have, have committed some resources towards, uh, you know, greener um, energy sources and renewable energy sources. Exxon is like, nah, fuck that. Oil. Earl. That's what we own. We own Oil. this Earl. Um, so they kind of deserve it because they're not, they're not on, a, on a, you know, sort of future well, forward mission. Uh, and Next Era is. Okay, but the other thing is, uh, the reason I would back them over Exxon, even though Exxon's a, a behemoth, don't get it twisted. And I don't use the word behemoth at all. Really. Sometimes... Nope. You know, you look back, it's no, not really, know. ain't really come up. I mean, I can't think of one time where it just came up. Go, yeah, man, that's behemoth. Yeah. But they are behemoth. But I would rather go with Next Era because they actually will have a cleaner Earth. So when my son doesn't have to walk around in a bubble when he gets older, because guess what? <laughs> Fucking right now, at least in California, they said the air quality because of just the fires. And I'm not making this shit up. Air quality was getting better. The fires happened. Air quality is one of the worst in the oh, fucking yeah, country. No, 
So if we use that, if we use a, that thought process of the windmill energy and shit like that, it will actually clear up within two years. Yeah. Two years. Not clear up, get back to where it was at. I'm telling you right in the publicity mag is, oh, talking uh, pubic hit one. Oh, shut up. Shut <laughs> Oh, I'm not going to even read that. because uh, But do you think that, like, you, it's something that will continue to be pushed if Biden gets in? I think it will. Well, if Trump gets in, he's going to want us to use coal. That, well, that takes us to our last uh, topic uh, um, for today is uh, – of all companies, Goldman Sachs uh, and, and Moody's is another uh, Wall Street. Oh, those corrupt yeah, Wall Street entity that, that has sounded the alarm on this. But Goldman Sachs came out with their own report. And this is how they are advising their investors is that if we see a blue wave, which they are predicting is most likely. And by blue wave, we mean an overwhelming um, overtake of the government by Democrats and, and through the voting process, no crazy Proud Boy shit. I think they're way off the mark, but well, go ahead. I, mean, the, I think they're, they're way they're off saying, the mark. They're saying they're, they're seeing a blue wave. And if we get that blue wave, um, the Democrats will be able, uh, TK575, what's going on? The, the, the Democrats will be able to pass their economic plans and their you know um, energy plans and things like that. Uh, that would actually get the economy going much faster than um, Trump's plan and what they're doing uh, currently. So um, literally, they're saying that if if Biden got in office and, and there was the blue wave, there would be a two trillion dollar injection of stimulus, you know, fairly immediately after he uh, took over, um, that they would be able to pass fairly easily because they would have a majority um, and that it, it would right. it would provide a a full recovery to the economy, um, I think by the end, oh, by the second half of 2022. Um, and I think that the way we're going now, uh, Trump's plan, we're not expected a full recovery until 2025. So it would be getting a lot more done a lot more quickly. And, and, a lot quicker, and there would but, be an investment in green but, energy that would create and green seven, energy, which we should have been doing. 7.4 million more jobs than anything Trump is doing. I, I, I don't know what else to say to y'all. But, I, 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 but they, you know what? But it don't matter because we love Trump because he's orange and we like orange and orange got vitamin C and vitamin C is good mm. for you. Whatever. That's what they fucking think. They're so dumb. I'm not, before I was like, yeah, don't say that. And I see some politician go, don't call them dumb. Don't call them deplorable. After all this shit, fuck them forever. I mean, I'm telling you, I said this before. It, it sounds like a joke. It might end up being a joke. I don't give a fuck if I was deep, deep, deep in some pussy. <laughs> and the woman said, but I love Trump. I would literally pull my dick out, wipe it on her forehead, and kick her out the house. That's how much I don't give a fuck about these Trump supporters no more and the Proud Boys and all that other bitch shit. I'm sorry, the Proud Boys who are now on some now, they're the Proud Boys. They're not just the Proud Boys no more. Because the gay dude said, we're the original Proud yes. Boys. Shut your mouth, bitch. Yes. Yeah, and they, they, they took that shit. But of all people, Golden Sachs, it's hard to trust them because they're so corrupt. Oh. But... I, I mean, what else do you need to see? What else do you need to see? Biden is a better choice, even though Biden got his fucking faults and Kamala got his fault. And if one more fucking woman say, I don't like her because she's light skinned, I will. I won't beat women, but I will hire lesbians to beat your ass. Get the fuck out of my face. Well, she ain't going to win an election. She's going to just pull that black light skinned girl shit. And then I literally said, you know what? I'm unfriended you. I unfriended her ass after she said it to me. Uh, for the debate tomorrow. I'm like, oh, my God. Now, tomorrow, I wanted to say to you pertaining to that. But first off, Savage AF brought to you by the World Famous Lab Factory, powered by us. Fuck that. Powered by us. And make sure that you subscribe to the I iTunes, Stitcher, Slacker, Google Play, iHeartRadio, and Spotify on our podcast version of the show. But we got a new YouTube channel up. Uh, it's uh, YouTube channels just for Savage AF. If you miss the show, you can check the show out later. Go subscribe right now. Anybody new on this bitch that ain't been on this bitch, subscribe. Subscribe. Savage AF Podcast. Go to YouTube. Subscribe. I, I can see the numbers right now. So if, you, I, if you, nobody subscribed, you know what? You won't get any pudding. No pudding for you. Don't eat your meat. Um, so 
<laughs> Check this out, man. Uh, El Nuno. <laughs> what? If you just say if you don't eat your meat, it sounds yeah, creepier. Song. If I you don't say all song. together. I didn't write song. Uh, El Nuno. I, I didn't write the song. You're El right. Nuno, uh, asks uh, Shane, Goldman Sachs or Trump? Who's more corrupt? <sighs> now you're asking, you're asking uh, who's more corrupt between a banker and a politician. I mean, that, that, well, what, what's the difference? Mm, you know what I mean? What the difference yeah. I see though is that. You know, bankers look at numbers, right? Um, politicians, they they they'll deal with emotions. Though you you know, they try and you know get at people's hearts and things. And, and manipulate, get, manipulate in, in that way. But bankers, they manipulate, but numbers and they they react to numbers. And so when they, you know, they they don't have the only foot in the political game they have is who's going to make us more money. So when a, a company like Goldman Sachs just comes out and is like, listen, Democrats would be better for us, the economy, for everybody. Uh, I'm going to go with that because they don't, they, you know, they don't, they don't care about Trump's xenophobia or racism or his IQ or what's right. in his lungs. They don't give a fuck unless it deals with, unless it affects their bottom line. So they're, you know, they, they're just like, listen, objectively, the spreadsheet shows, I don't know, I don't know if you guys can see the numbers here, but <laughs> clearly, okay, if you see the graph and the bar is bigger <laughs> with Joe Biden and then with Trump, it's way down here and that's less money. And we don't do that. And that's all we, we care about. Money. Listen, uh, listen, we're running up. We ran it up the flagpole. We saw who salutes. And that's what we're going with. Now, if you can't understand that, go ahead. Go ahead. You go ahead and try. But you'll see. You'll see. I don't and want class. you. I, don't I, I need the see. class to pay attention. Y'all don't let publicity mag distract y'all today. And now everybody's making fun of publicity mag. Now publicity mag going to go home and eat mayonnaise with a spoon, which people don't do. And that's why publicity be mad be fucked up sometimes because that'll get at your guts. And we have bubble guts all day. The next Eve day. said, I think it blocked me. <laughs> <laughs> Eve said, I think it When you get the bubble me. guts from eating mayonnaise like that, you come on shows live uh, and then you start talking shit. And, and your ass bubbles like your mouth do. And so, so stay focused, class. We're talking about how Goldman Sachs and Moody's, right, two wa major Wall Street entities, have declared uh, Joe Biden in a blue wave better economically for america we got a minute and 50 seconds on this feed right here man but that that, that that's what it okay is. so check it out savage uh a savage af podcast make sure you subscribe to the podcast version of the show just put in savage af podcast right now i say we got we gained nine people from yesterday we need a little bit more nine than that. so um make sure that you Nine, we're at nine, and we want to have nine million. So Savage AF Podcast. Also, please, 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 the uh, the the podcast version of the uh, show is important too. Subscribe, iTunes, Stitcher, Slacker, Google Play, iHeartRadio, Spotify. Anybody that wants to go at Publicity Mag, please inbox Publicity Mag pictures of random dicks, and then <laughs> <laughs> I'll I'll send a picture of a bag. Then we'll put the dick in a bag, and then you can eat a bag of go. dicks. That's what that's we're going to do with you. Uh, yep, that's it. That's what we do here. We serve bags of dicks daily. <laughs> you can get yours. <laughs> the fact that we, that's part of our show. We and we're going to try to pitch this to a network. Yeah. And we're going to be like, hey, so what was that whole thing about the bag of dicks? Well, me and Pedro think that'll be a good segment <laughs> so, in the so show. People, you, and they go, ah, You'd be it. amazed at how many people love bags of dicks. I don't know. Uh, here, So here's the thing, guys. Yeah. Uh, get your bag of dicks tomorrow right here on IG Live at 6 p.m. <laughs> Pacific Standard Time. <laughs> we'll we'll, be, preparing, we'll be preparing many for you. So come on back, Publicity Mag. We'll have a whole nother bag for you. And you know the audience loves to get on you, too. So uh, And then it allows you to work out your schizophrenia. So come on back. Come on back, everybody. We love you, Miss Adverb. You notice a couple of our, our trolls have dropped off. And some of, one of them tried to get me. I got a thing from Instagram where they complained and they were going to shut my Instagram no, see, down. That's it. And I send it back. Five, four, three. Yeah. Fuck them all. S-I-N-C. We'll see y'all.